Hi everybody, this is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own custom email address based on your domain name. Now when you're creating a business card it looks a lot better and you look a lot more legitimate if you have an email address like bob at flowerpots.com versus bob123 flowerpots at gmail.com. Having that custom email address just makes you look that little bit more polished and more legitimate in the eyes of your customers. So here I am again in my hosting account. It's based on cPanel, so any cPanel hosting account will look relatively the same. And you want to click on the email accounts icon. On the following page, if you have multiple domain names, you want to select them from the drop down menu. If not, you'll have your domain name pre-filled, and then you want to enter your email address prefix. So in this case, info at whatever your domain name is .com would be the email address I'm creating. You can have bob at sales at info at support at. You can put pretty much whatever you want in that first part. You want to choose a password. I usually use the password generator to create a password that's hard to guess. I copy it, I click on I've copied this password in a safe place, and I click on use password. You can set the mailbox quota, so in this case the default is 250 megabytes. You can choose unlimited. Which one you choose depends on you and also on your business. If you're a photographer and you're sending large files back and forth to clients, you're going to want to have an unlimited mailbox quota. Just because that 250 megabytes will run out really quickly with uh, high definition photograph files. But whatever you decide, this can be changed later on, so there's no need to get it right the first time. After you've filled out this form, click on Create Account, and a little green box shows up. Info at mydomainname.com has been created. So if we find that email address in our list, what we can do is click on the more button. Oh, first I'll show you, you can change passwords, you can change the quota that I just spoke of whenever you want. So we can change it to 300. Click on change quota, change it to 300. So you can change that whenever you need to. You can delete the email address. And if you choose more, you can access the email address via webmail, which I rarely do. I always configure an email client. Using the fig configure email client option, it will show you how you configure your mail app on a Mac or Outlook on Windows. And you can use these. these if you click on these, they download files to your computer that you can double click on and then it just configures it all automatically. You can also configure things manually if you want to configure your phone to access your email account. This area down here gives you all the information you need. You have the choice to use secure settings or non-secure settings. And I always recommend the secure settings. There's no extra cost and really no extra effort to use the secure settings. The only difference is it goes from a different mailbox and has a different port number. So there's no extra effort to using secure. And that's also a great selling point if you just bring it up with your clients saying, oh, our email is 100% secure. Even though you don't have to bring it up, it makes clients a little more confident in your abilities and your ability to keep their information safe. So that brings us to the end of this video. You've just created your own custom email address and integrated it with your Outlook or Mail app on a Mac or your smartphone. If you need any help, just leave a comment below the video and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Again, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create an email forwarder for your email address so that you can have hundreds or thousands of email addresses and all the emails are forwarded to one account. So you only have to check one inbox if you have multiple email addresses. I'll see you in that video.